I can't play it. All right, I'm sitting here with uh, Susie Mosier, who is the female authority figure. Yeah, that's right. Or what do you call it? Faf. Faf. She was the Faf of Hairspray, F-A-F. And we did the title of the show together, and I just saw her show called The Great Daisy Theory, right? Mm -hmm. Which was amazing, a combination of hilarious and crazily moving, and all true, right? You're not one of those like, some of it's true, some of it's not. No, it's all sadly true, yeah. It is kind of sort of sadly true, because <laughs> it's devastating. But it's hilarious, I mean, it's, it's the kind of show that I just love. Kevin Chamberlain, I ran into him on the street, he's like, it's a master class and I do a one person show. But the problem is you need to time travel back to the 60s when people actually wanted one person shows. Nowadays, right. nobody's interested. However, are you gonna do it again? Yeah, I am, I'm gonna do it again in May. I've got the 1st and the 15th of May. At Lord Beach Theater? Yeah, yeah. It is so good, I beg you to go. Anyway, <laughs> I wanna focus on two things. So, uh, Susie talks about her relationship with her mom and uh, parents got divorced, your father left when you were- Eight years old. Eight years old. And then you became obsessed with the radio show. What, what they were calling for hundred dollars? Which how'd you have to answer the phone? Uh, uh, it was KCBQ, and if you answered your phone, I listened to Fun Love and KCBQ, and it was KCBQ calling. You'd win a hundred dollars. Yeah. So her and her mother, every time the phone rang, would literally answer. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Uh, I listened to Fun Love and KCBQ. Of course, it was never KCBQ calling. We never won the hundred dollars, but it gave us something to focus on besides my mom's unraveling. So that was good. <laughs> Devastating. So, uh, Susie wrote a song about what it's like to grow up with a mom who sometimes is sober and amazing and sometimes is not. Is not. She was an alcoholic, my mom. I spell that. <laughs> uh, perhaps you'll recognize the tune. Enjoy. I like to think that I was the first person to coin the phrase, my two moms, because that's what I had. Meet and she makes sure the bills are paid, the kitchen's clean and the beds are made. But Annie likes to drink and yell, she told my teacher to go to hell. She didn't like my grade, I got a C. They're my mother, my two-sided mother, and you'll find one is a crazy loony. One sweet and kind. Now Annie drinks gin while Anne drinks tea. When Annie's around, you won't find me. Cause Annie likes to pick a fight, just slur her words and say, Good night. Kiddo. We're a kooky three. They're my mother. My two-headed mother, and you'll find. I never know which one will be the boozy broader, my mommy. Okay, so that's sort of the pop version of what it was like, or you know, the pop TV sitcom theme song version. But uh, Susie said that because her mother was an alcoholic and because she was an actress, they'd have <laughs> these fights that were um, grandiose. What so they, they were they were hysterical. You know, she was always drunk, and I was so theatrical that our, they were, were mythical. They were like over the top. They were they were operatic, is what they were. And um, she took that premise and literally turned one of their classic fights into an opera. Now, by the way, don't be those people that think she made this up, because that makes me crazy. This was literally a real thing that happened, and she's op opera -sized it, and I, I hope you enjoy it. I was in my room with the door locked, and she stood outside. You open this goddamn door! You open this goddamn door! I'll break it down! I'll break it down! You open this goddamn door! No! You open this goddamn door! I'll I'll break it down, I'll break it down, you open this goddamn door! No, and then a strange silence fell over the entire house, and she went to the garage and returned with the family axe, and she chucked, and she chucked, and she reached her hand inside, and unlocked the door herself. <laughs> Then she stood in the doorway and said, I was trying to prove a point. Curtain. <laughs> the Great Daisy Theory, Susie Mosier. And uh, you can contact Alan on online. So. <laughs> Let's go get a gin and tonic. Come on, my treat. But I thought you'd learn. <laughs>